Hi guys! So today I figured I would do my 2014 favorites. I'm just going to do 14 favorites of 2014. I think that that would be really fun. I've done this in the past and I've really enjoyed it. So I'm going to jump in. I'm in my living room again today because my kids are taking over my bedroom. They're watching their show in there and they did not want me to disrupt. So I figured I'd do it in here today. And um, my hair situation, yes, it's a little bit ratchet. I put this headband on because my hair was not cooperating. It's I'm on like my shower day but I'd like to shower at night and so my hair is just like crazy I was trying to braid it today and it just was not working out and so my little uh, you know top buns going on so anyway we're just rolling uh, I actually like this headband it's kind of a it's kind of a fun headband so kind of digging it um, so I'm just gonna jump right in so my very first favorite is my phone I have a Samsung um, a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 right now and we're actually gonna be getting the Note 4 next month because that's when we're able to upgrade but I have the Note 3 look at how big this thing is I mean this is my hand and this is my phone it's like a mini computer but I absolutely love it it's just such a fun phone I have like the boring um, background that it came with because I had to reset it because um, my settings were all messed up and anyway so um, but I'm just leaving it alone because next month we're upgrading anyway but anyway my phone I just love it and it's definitely a huge favorite so I love 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 the Samsung um, Note 3 way better than the iPhone by far in my opinion <laughs> um, I have my favorite bronzer which was the this is a MAC blush and it's in the shade baby don't go but I use it for bronzing. That's what I use today. I love this. It's just perfect, especially if you're fair like I am. You don't want to go too orange. Um, this is just very, very beautiful. I'm hoping you can pick it up from all this like weird lighting going on, but I mean, it's just, I mean, if you have fair skin, this is a must. You have to at least try it because it's just so good. So Mac Baby Don't Go, and all of the things I'm talking about are going to be linked below so you can check them out there. So my next favorite is a blush, and this one is from Tarte, and this is the Tarte Exposed. I think everyone has heard about this. I just love it. It is perfect. This is what the packaging looks like. Of course, it's beautiful, and this is what the blush looks like. I've hit major pan. I've never hit pan on a blush before in my life, and I hit major pan on this one. I'm so excited. I feel like I am just a rock star by hitting pan on this thing because blush is a hard thing to hit pan on, and I have so many, so... I obviously use this a lot. This is the blush I use more than any other blush. So Tarte Exposed, it is a must. Get it, you will not regret it. And Stella, she wants to join us for the video. Say hi. Oh gee, hi. <laughs> this is our little Stella Beans. Let's see hi Stella. Oh, you're trying to lick me. You're trying to lick me. Um, the next one is um, another blush. This is Max Blush in Blush Baby. I love this. I got this probably I would say like four four months ago and I just I, I can't put it down it's like the perfect fall blush it's not too much it, it has a little bit of like a purpley mauvey kind of undertone to it but look at how pretty that is it's just beautiful and um, this is another one that like for fair tones it's just absolutely stunning because it is a sheer tone and so it's not like super intensely pigmented it's just like that perfect sheer pigmentation so MAC blush baby is a must for me um, another one is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium. I love this powder. This is my favorite powder that I've ever used. I have so many powders and I love them all, but this is by far my favorite. Um, it's just, it's like a sheer kind of powder, but you can also build it up. Excuse me. If I don't want to wear like a full out foundation, I will just build this up and it will just look absolutely stunning. So again, this is their new packaging. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the color medium, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of more pinky toned. I also use Light Plus, and that one's a little bit more yellow. So, I mean, they're both just beautiful. I mean, it's just awesome. And I've hit major, I mean, I've gone through major amount. This used to be pretty domed. And I mean, I've been doing pretty dang good on this thing, and I've had it for so long. So, this thing's going strong. I know for sure I'll probably have this gone by the end of the year, which is just crazy because... I mean, I have so many powders, but I just love this one so much. Sorry, I keep looking down. I'm looking at my list. I wrote a list so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> um, another product is my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Now, Makeup Geek has just, I put this, usually these are all in like my little Z palette, but I just put them in here to show you today. Um, 
but Makeup Geek is just by far my favorite eyeshadow brand. I love MAC and I have those in here as well, but Makeup Geek is by far the best. Um, these shadows are just so nice. These are my nine favorites that I own. Um, this one is Rockstar, Cocoa Bear, Peach Smoothie, sorry I'm looking at them, <laughs> Creme Brulee, uh, this is Beaches and Cream, this one is Barcelona Beach, this one is White Lies, this is Bitten, and this is Preppy. And they are just so, so good. If you ever want me to do like a swatch video of all the Makeup Geek that I have, let me know and I'd be happy to do that. There's just so many out there that I don't know if you'd want to see that. But if you do, let me know. I just love Makeup Geek. They are just absolutely amazing and the price is so good. Um, I do have a few MAC shadows because I like a few of those shades as well. But, I mean, the quality of these. Oh, so good. So, love, love, love. Which brings me to my MAC eyeshadows. I also do love MAC. And I get like just like the little four pans because for like storage and stuff, I just think these are so nice because you could bring them when you travel and all that. So I like these ones. And you can get the pans online. I think they're like $8. And then, um, or like the palette is like $8. And then you buy the pans for $10. So love these. Um, these ones, I can't remember all of the colors and I can't take them out because they're kind of a pain to get out, but I'm going to try my best to remember. This one is Quarry. I love Quarry. It's like this mauvey purple. It's so pretty. Deep Damson. Swiss Chocolate. Soft Brown. These are just beautiful. These are must colors. They're just colors that you can wear all the time. I'm a very neutral toned person. I don't like a lot of like bright colors and a lot of crazy colors. I'm just very neutral. I love neutral eyeshadows and these are so nice. And this deep damson color, it looks a little bit scary, but in the outer corner, oh my gosh, it's so pretty and smoked like on like the lower lash line or even sometimes I use it as um, eyeliner and it's just beautiful so these are so nice some other ones that I love are these are my other four that I have this one's paradisco it's like a kind of a corally orange but it's a little bit more sheer and it's just so pretty for the summer um kid and that one's being discontinued I am so bummed so if you can get a hold of kid because it is the perfect cool tone transition color it's so pretty and then this one is oh mylar mylar's right here and I cannot for the life of me remember this one um but it's like a really pretty like pinky kind of shimmery color but I will link it below because I'll remember it and I'll link it all below so all of these I'll link like the right names and everything below but I mean look at how pretty they are so love MAC eyeshadows a lot um my Smashbox under eye primer I love this um, I used to think under eye primers were kind of gimmicky. I mean, they're just one of those things where you're like, do you really need one? But for my eyes, I mean, I have combination, um, like normal combination skin. Most of my skin is pretty normal. And then my T-zone gets a little bit more oily. So I'm kind of combination normal. Um, but under my eyes are not like not oily at all they're more on the dry side so I love to use an under eye primer because it's just a little bit more hydrating and it just kind of keeps everything from getting super cakey if I don't use this any concealer I use will tend to look kind of powdery and cakey on me just because my under eyes aren't like the most hydrated and so I love this because it just hydrates them and I will always always have an under eye primer I really wanted to try the MAC one but I can't find it anywhere like their vibrant vibrancy I think it's called like the vibrancy under eye primer I can't find anywhere I don't know if it got discontinued or what so if you know let me know because I'd love to try that one but this is the only one I know of right now and I just love it so so much it's a Smashbox photo finish hydrating under eye primer and it's a must so love that um, my Clinique toner. Now this is the best toner I've ever used. It's like all the way down to here. I bought it at the beginning of the year, so it lasts a really long time. Um, but it's down to there now. I love this. This is the clarifying lotion in number two for like kind of more combination skin. Love this so much. It kind of gives your face like a refreshing tingle when you use it. I use it in the morning and at night and I will never go without this toner. It is just... I got the big huge bottle because I knew I'd use it so love this so much and it's not like crazy expensive for how much you get it's really good so another product sorry I'm looking down here <laughs> okay my Colleen Rothschild um, treatment complexes I've loved these now right right now I have the vitamin C and as you can see it's on its last leg it's almost gone I need to get another one look at that it's just about gone this is the vitamin C one I use this in the morning so I wash my face and then I use my under eye serum with this 
and then I wait until that settles and then I'll put my moisturizer on top of it. I love this. It just kind of makes you have a little bit more brighter skin, kind of like um, evens out like discolorations and stuff like that. It's just a really, really great product. These are pricey, but they are so good and they're made with such good ingredients. I love this. Um, and this one is the salicylic treatment complex and the salicylic one is just you can use it morning or night I usually use this one at night because I always use my vitamin C in the morning and I have the retinol as well I switch off between this one and retinol so this time I have this one next time I'll get the retinol one but they're just so good I use this one at night it's just really good for like clearing out the pores it's really good for just like kind of nourishing your skin evening out your skin making your complexion look brighter and it's just great it's just really really great so this one is the salicylic treatment complex and I really like that and I also love the retinol one um, that one obviously is really really ideal for anti-aging um, it can like bother some people's skin make it a little bit more dried out but my skin doesn't have a problem with it at all it loves my skin loves it so um, yeah I switch out between the salicylic and the retinol so love those my lipstick favorite is the it was really hard to pick because I have so many lipsticks I've loved the Urban Decay Revolutionary Lipstick in Naked. This has just been a color, you know, it's just one of those colors that's just perfect. You know, it's just like this mid-tone type of pink color, but it's not too pink and it's not too mauve. It's just kind of in between and I really, really like it. So Revenary, Revolutionary Lipstick in Naked has been a favorite of mine. I keep talking with my hands, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, um, my MAC paint pot. I use paint pots every single day. I use like an eye primer and then I use a paint pot and um, I've loved this one so much. I've used this one like crazy. This is the MAC paint pot in Lay and Low. I just love it and it's like this. Boop! That was the lid. It's just this, um, I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but it's like a very like tan kind of color. It's like a very like caramely tan type of color. It's perfect. It's matte. It's just beautiful. Um, I really, really like this one. I have so many of them. I think I have six paint pots. I'm actually going to plan on doing a paint pot video um, sometime within the next couple months too, just like going over all the ones I have because I love MAC paint pots so much. So yeah, this one's in Lay and Low and I love that. So just one more favorite that's not like, that I don't have with me. It's just like an author that I've loved and some of the books that I've loved reading. So her name is Ly Lyanne Mortuary. I think that that's how you say it. I'll link everything below, like I said. Um, and I've read What Alice Forgot and The Husband's Secret. And those are so good. If you haven't read them, read them because they're so good. Um, the Husband's Secret is so, so good. It's the first one I read. And then What Alice Forgot. They're both just awesome. So love that author. She's been my favorite this year. Um, I want to read a few other books from her. I haven't read too much this year, so I want to get back into doing that a little bit more. But those are just some of my favorites that I've had this year. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know some of the favorites you've had for the 2014 year. I can't believe we're in 2015, but it's kind of exciting to start over again and to discover new things, you know? So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I do have a video coming up Monday. My Monday video will be an empties video, so make sure you stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want to see more videos and know when I'm posting things. And I also have an Instagram. I have a regular Instagram, and I also have a YouTube Instagram. My regular everyday Instagram is Nikki Olin, and that's where I just talk about everything going on in my life. I show pictures of my kids, stuff like that. And then my YouTube Instagram is the same name as my user, um, as my username, Nikki Oxenbein01. And that's just like YouTube related when I'm posting videos, what's going on, like beauty hauls, stuff like that. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.